Hello, today we're on day two of solving problems. Now this time, we are using a specific formula. So when you drop an object, there's, because of the way gravity acts on it, there's a specific formula that you can use. And this one uses the units of h naught is the initial height in feet. So whatever you start, wherever you start from, however high up you are. And then it falls according to how much time it's falling. And then this will tell you how fast it's falling. Not how fast, I'm sorry. It will tell you how far it falls for that amount of time, because this is the height. And so one thing to think about is if something is falling to the ground, typically you'd set h at zero if it's going to be landing on the ground. And that's the point where it's going to stop. That's the case for this first question here. It says, for a science competition, students must design a container that prevents an egg from breaking when dropped from a height of 50 feet. Write a function that gives the height h in feet of the container after t seconds. How long does the container take to hit the ground? So we're going to write a function or an equation, and then we'll use that equation to figure out how long it takes to fall to the ground. And you might be wondering about the second equation. That one is actually going to be, I was originally going to talk about today, but then I realized that we haven't talked about the quadratic formula yet. So we're going to talk about this last problem right down here. Don't cross it out. That's going to be saved for later. Just later on the booklet, we'll come back and do it. Because when something's launched, it also has a middle term. And we just haven't, if it's not factorable, we haven't talked about how to actually solve that yet. OK, so we'll talk about that later. And let's focus on this problem right here. So let's put our equation. And so we're going to say, h equals negative 16 t squared plus h naught. So what you're going to do is notice that it starts at 50 feet. We'll just plug in the numbers that we know. Plus negative 16 t squared h equals. OK, so this is essentially the function that gives the height h in feet of the container after t seconds. So you plug in how many seconds it's falling, and it will tell you the height. So that's the answer to the first question. Already, just putting in that one little piece of information. Now the second question, it says, how long does the container take to hit the ground? So that's when you substitute in 0 for h, because the height of the container is 0 at ground level. So we're going to say 0 equals negative 16 t squared plus 50. To solve this one, you'll notice that we only have one variable squared which means you can actually just solve by taking the square root. But first, you have to get the square root by itself. So we're going to subtract 50 from both sides. OK. Now divide both sides by negative 16. I'm probably just going to leave it as a fraction for now. But notice that if you have a negative divided by negative, it is positive. So we can write it. 50, my pen's not working very good, 50 divided by 16 equals t squared. Something got erased there. And now, take the square root of both sides. We could simplify the fraction, but there's not really a need to, and we know we're going to punch this into our calculator anyway. So go ahead and punch this into your calculator. 50 divided by 16, and you get 3.125. However, we still need to find the square root of that. And when you punch in the square root, it's actually, I'm going to continue over here. It is 1.8 seconds. Now, normally we would say plus or minus 1.8. However, let's just kind of look at this picture really quick. So we're at the top of a building, and basically the function Think about it as going like this. We're only seeing half of the parabola. The other half of it would theoretically be on the other side, which 
which doesn't work in this case. So it has a different domain. And so what we're going to do is not have the negative version because you wouldn't have negative seconds in this case. So when you think about it, this one just ends up being 1.8 seconds. All right, so you'll have two problems similar to this on the pod to finish. And if you have any questions, and like I said, it's just going to be a dropped object. And we'll continue to learn about launched objects later on in the unit. Talk to you later.